Hey guys, Robert here with Realty One Group Sunshine, and today I am bringing the long awaited model tour of the Polte models here in Longmeadow and North River Ranch. Now, as you guys know, if you've seen my videos before, make sure you're checking them all out, and you may or may not know that I live in North River Ranch. Um, I have a couple of homes in this community already. I've been here for four years. Um, you know, one of the the best places I've ever lived. I could definitely say the vibrations here are definitely uh, bright and at a high level, guys. Everyone seems to be extremely happy. Um, it's one of the best, most, you know, modern state-of-the-art communities I've ever seen. Um, it's quite astonishing, guys. And it's gonna have all the schools right within basically walking distance of it. If you don't know, guys, a hospital, you know, market center. We've got a Publix already. Um, we've got everything, guys. We're gonna have water slides they're building right now. I'll show you the progress on that. And that's Camp Creek, which is the new amenity center. And um, across, you know, there's like amenity lawns and and uh, soccer field. There's trails. There's fire pits there's bikes you can take out guys and that's for the low cost of only $80 a year guys $80 a year there's gonna be two gyms okay two gyms there's a BMX track a um, uh, pickleball courts dog park um, you name it guys they've got playgrounds outdoor gyms uh, we're gonna have our own K through eight. So we're gonna have Barbara Harvey. This is a new update, guys. If you've been following me, you're following what's going on with the parish schools. But you know, Barbara Harvey is getting a little bit overcrowded. And then we're gonna have the North River Ranch Middle School, which is like right over there, right, right behind those that tree line. And you just go out this road and take a left, and it's literally right there. You can walk over there. But that has been there's been an update to that, guys. And what it's gonna be now, so you're gonna have uh, PVK and kindergarten, first grade and second grade at the, the Barbara Harvey campus that's open now. And when that opens, it's gonna be three through eight. So from what they, then that's what I just, I don't know if they're gonna change it again, but that is the update I got. So it's gonna be, um, so yeah, guys, we're gonna get on with this model tour. Make sure you're hitting the like, hit the subscribe, guys. Um, we're gonna do these two models right here we got the um still some guys working finishing up some things but these models are now open and uh they just closed down the other models in brightwood so i just did a showing in here today um was pleased to walk through these models they're really nice the williston uh we've got nine different floor plans in here guys uh we're gonna go through those today i'm gonna go i'm gonna i got my drone with me so we're gonna do some drone shots of the amenities um all the different things coming in the updates on the the progress on everything guys like i always bring to you so make sure you're you know staying in tune i try to bring these videos to you every week i'm going to be doing a full pull day overview syntax dell web video coming soon where i cover you know what they're doing as far as you know the parish you know palmetto manatee county area what communities they are in i just released that lennar video um for prosperity lakes sierra and stonegate and i'm going to be doing the oakfield um long meadow dell web uh update with everything because full day will also be in oakfield guys so there'll be in oakfield um trails i believe it is because you have oakfield lakes and oakfield trails so you have syntax and Pulte over there, guys. So uh, with no further ado, let's get through these model tours. You're gonna love these models. These are some new plans that they haven't, they may remind you of some of their older plans, but these are new plans. And keep in mind on Long Meadow, guys, it's all gonna be tile roofs and paver driveways. So the price per square foot might be up. You know, you might see about a $20,000 increase for those features um, in pricing versus what they were selling in Wildleaf. But Guys, in storms, a tile roof. If you ever have to go through a storm or a tropical storm or a hurricane, you know, like we get those strong storms maybe every five years, the tile roofs are, they're like windproof, guys. Like sometimes they get a little bit of damage if they're older, I feel like, but I've never really seen 
not in comparison to shingle roofs, guys. So it's a, it's a really good thing. They're very energy efficient because they deflect heat off of them. Um, so they're a good thing to have, guys. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so this is the Williston. This is a five bedroom, three bath home. Over 2,500 square feet. We do have models like the Coral Grand. That's gonna be the largest model. We'll do that one next. That's gonna be just over 3,000 square feet. I believe it's 3,100 square feet. Um, so let's check this out. This is the model center now. So you can see that these very nice colors and, and the way you can do it in here, guys, is that they're gonna have your quick move-ins on the 40-foot lots and then the 50-foot lots are, you know, so those are gonna be just like packages. It's gonna be either this or that, what they decide to put in there. But on the 50 foot lots, you can fully customize them and uh, do a to be built from scratch. So as we come in guys, front door, you're gonna have a little foyer area, coat closet. And then you'll have like your one bedroom, one bath, full bath. It's just got the standard size doors in this model. Downstairs bedroom. So it's a 1-1 one, one downstairs and then a 4-2 uh, with a loft upstairs. Storage under the uh, stairs, lots of storage there. Fully, fully utilize that, no wasted space. It's kind of like the McNair, like Syntex had, or the um, the uh, the Morris, the Morris, Morris and McNair, kind of the same thing. It's kind of like them, but like with an extra bedroom, basically, just a little bit bigger, like 300 square feet bigger. Covered lanai, guys, and this will give you a good footprint, like. Compressed so you have good yard space guys. So you can still get a pool still have a yard for your dog you got your Nice countertops Seeing what they're doing here, but uh, this has just got the standard cabinets, but you have the option and, and usually in the quick move-ins I see them most of the time putting those dovetail soft clothes Especially in the ones that are left over from wild leaf. There's still three. There's um, two, uh, two Mystiques and a Morris left over in Wildleaf with that 4.25% interest rate. So as you go upstairs, guys, they made it like a little foosball, you know, uh, couch area. This would be your loft. Shows you how you can utilize this. Look at that triple window is nice, right? A little bump out there. And then you're gonna have three bedrooms, one bath over here. So good area, some of your laundry room as well. So this would be like a wing. It's a 20, almost 2,600 square feet, guys. Obviously, you know, Pulte always does the greatest job like painting and staging and, you know, theming out the rooms. They do an excellent job. Make it look nice and clean and vibrant but yet simple, not too complicated. The right accent walls that ties and all the colors. This is a big bathroom, guys. Yeah, it is. So look at all that. It's pretty wide. And put it in the closet here. Double vanity. And then this room is like towards the back and it has a walk-in closet. So that's nice. And then we'll go over to the master, which is split off to the other side. So if you have guests, at least, you know, you can make the downstairs room your guest room or an office, whatever you choose. Or you can make an office up here. If you don't, if it's in that, one of these rooms would be extra for you and uh, make a guest room downstairs. You know, if you have guests over that don't like doing the stairs and you don't want to take any chances of anyone slipping or falling or anything like that. Toilet. 
toilet, another closet, big linen closet, shower with the glass and the niche. This is a big master, guys. Look at this. Big. Pretty big. Let's keep the camera rolling, guys, and so you can get a real good idea of everything. And we'll uh, let's stop right here for a minute, and we'll just go through the different floor plans. I'll try to flash these up on the screen. So these are gonna be your different options here. So you're gonna have the Harvey, three bedroom, two bath, Two car garage, 1,707 square feet. Base price, 424,000. Now base price, guys, that is before the lot and before any structural or cosmetic upgrades. So keep that in mind. But it's also before any incentives. So there's still incentives on 2B builds as well as quick move-ins uh, with interest rate locks that can be uh, for the, any of the homes that will close in January, you can lock the rate down to a 4.25. You have the Sonora here. It's a two-story, four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath with a loft and a two-car garage. So no, no three-car garage options in the Long Meadow, guys. Um, Williston. Next step up, and as far as like I said, eighty dollars a year for the HOA, and as far as like CDD will be a little bit less, which so should be just around twenty-two, twenty-three hundred a year ish in that range, right? Twenty-one hundred. Um, I've got to get the the exact price on that, but it's going to be a little bit more on the fifties versus the forties. So your your size of your lot determines the price of your CDD. And that goes for all builders, guys, in all communities. So your Williston, five bedroom, three bath, 2,500 square feet, 471, 990. Five bedroom, three bath for the, uh, the Talon. That's it's another two story. So, you know, about three, three single stories. And then there's uh, five, um, so three plus five, so four plus five, there's nine. So I see so six two stories and three one story plans in this, in this community. So uh, 2,600 square feet. Then you got, you know, on the wider lots, you got the coral, which are the two or three bedrooms. You can configure that with a lot of square footage, like a two bedroom bonus room, you know, uh, probably has some different configurations, which I actually have the um, configuration map here, which is, uh, these are gonna be your lots as well. So here are all your different lots. You know, a lot of these are, so the Regal series, okay? And then the Legacy series. So your Legacy is gonna be your wider lots. Regal series of the 40 foots. And then the legacy will be the outer lots. And these will be ba actually backing up to other others, right? So there won't be an even, it won't be even, right? So it'll be kind of staggered along this, this edge here. So it won't be like back to back to back. It'll be a little staggered. Um, some pond lots here. Okay. Some back to backs. And this is going to be West Bay, these gray areas here. Just like, uh, so right here, model. Uh, let's see, we have another model. That's the West Bay model. That's, I thought was, you know, the Cardell model. I don't know why they have it marked as their model there, but it's, I believe that's Cardell. And um, the Imperial 2500, Ruby 2800. You know, so base pricing all the way up to 522, but you figure by the time you do lots and structural and this and that, you're probably gonna be somewhere close to 600,000, right? On a, on a base price like that, roughly. You can just figure like 40 to 50, at least at a minimum between lot and upgrades. By the time you get to the design center. So that coral right here, oh, coral and coral grand, that's what it is. So 
anywhere from 19 to 3,000 square feet, two to five bedrooms, two to three bathrooms. So different configurations, guys, different options you can do on that coral plan. But what you can see there, and that's, uh, and then that's gonna be, you know, a single story there. It's gonna look like that. These are gonna be, um, the two story and larger you have on the footprint so if you have a, a wider figure that's your lot right so if you have a wider you know longer one story you're gonna have less yard so if you have like this you're gonna have this will probably have the largest yard um, because it, this will be on top of that right and it'll be kind of pushed up a little bit and you'll have a big backyard so if you're looking for big yard space you know that imperial probably the best one for that Ruby's probably the second best one for that. Those are uh, eight of the plans. No, that's all nine plans because you have your Coral and your Coral Grand. So let's go check out the Coral Grand next door, guys. Um, and then also, guys, just so you know, this is a smart home. These are smart homes, and this is your smart home package. Um, it's gonna give you your wire, wire, wireless. And this is a Wi-Fi community. There's also like a community Wi-Fi throughout the community. Uh, you can get, especially at like the clubhouses and stuff. Uh, there's, a, there's a public Wi-Fi there as well. Um, like a super stream Wi-Fi, uh, wiring enclosure. It's gonna give you, you know, your, your, um, your basically your communications panel. It's like a little mini closet thing that houses all your internet wires, your router, all of those things, guys. Smart thermostats, so you can hook that up to the app, control it from your phone, video doorbell, touchpad security control, uh, the white glove movement service, Wi-Fi enabled uh, garage door, the USB and AC charging outlet in the kitchen and owner suite. Ooh, that's a big one. Uh, motion sense light switch in garage entry, guys, so. That's pretty cool. So let's go check out the Coral Grand, which I get. I think that one they have all the way up. That one is uh, 31. I think the model is like 3,100 square feet. So, you know, 2,900 plus, depending on how you configure it. Uh, that's a four bedroom uh, with the flex and a loft, uh, th three bath. And the way they have that configured is 3,100 square feet, guys. So that's gonna be the most expensive, you know, home that you can get by Polte and Long Meadow, North River Ranch. So I'm gonna go next door here. You know, you're gonna have a nice front porch area here, which is real nice in this Coral Grand. Those would be like your style pavers you'll get in your driveway. That's nice because it kind of reminds me of the way West Bay does the Biscayne too. It's a little similar to that. This is going to be your design center. So this is where, you know, you'll come and this is where you can understand like the quality of the piping that they do, the, 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 uh, these, these like new age pipes, I forget what they're called, like Tyrex or something like that. Um, they're like these poly piping that's supposed to like never fail because they expand and contract and they don't, um, you know, they don't dry and crack. Like sometimes if you had just full PVC supply lines where the PVC will just be your drain lines, that'll be like your insulation insulated between the studs um, on your interior walls, guys. Uh, that's gonna be the way that they side the home. So this is gonna be your barrier, your, your temperature barrier and moisture barrier. And then this will be like your, um, your siding there and then you'll have these type of windows which this looks a little inaccurate to me i believe it's supposed to be a double pane um, and it'll come with your hurricane shutters guys and then this is the way that they back the shower walls so with the moisture barrier the mold resistant uh, material so keep that in mind guys and then they foam under the the lip instead of like wood that can you know, rot out over time. And then these are the different packages you could pick out if you're gonna do a 2B built, but if it's a, a quick move in, it's gonna be like, they're gonna choose it, so. 
Looks like they got the tall doors on this one. So they got the eight foot doors. You can come in off the garage, laundry room down the hall, guys. Laundry sink optional. Or they may include it on the quick move-ins if they, if they have one, but I'm not sure they, the Coral Grand, you can still have any quick move-ins. They may, they may, so, you know, they say they're gonna do one thing sometimes and, or if someone builds one and then one falls through and you know, whatever. So they, they definitely do have them from time to time. They'll have these as quick move-ins. Your one bedroom, one bath as you come in off the front door. This is kind of nice, guys. Look at this foyer. So that's your loft up there, which is very cool. It's got like that railing loft, grand coral, tall doors, flex room. And you can make this into a fifth bedroom too. So that is an option. Flexibility, yep, right there, boom. Flex rooms. This kind of reminds me of the Grand Mystique, like a modified version of the Grand Mystique, the way this is kind of laid out. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a little similar. It's a nice big area, good sized bar. And then this, they're gonna have your, these should have your soft clothes, I believe. Yeah, it's gonna have your dovetail, soft clothes, gas community, guys. So you're gonna have gas, Gas, uh, tankless hot water heater outside, save you some room in the garage, unlimited hot water, a gourmet style kitchen. This will be your microwave on top, oven on the bottom. Pantry, just nice. Center island. This has storage on the side here too. Yes, that's nice. Some extra storage there. Double sliders, like double sets of sliders. This is interesting. Just uh, cover the nye. But as you can see, guys, it's a big footprint. So you don't have a huge yard, but definitely enough for a pool. And at least to maybe have five feet in between or 10 feet between the pool and the fence for like if you have a dog. So you still have a little area for them. Kind of like I have for my dog. He enjoys it. It took him a while to get used to it, but he's got it all mudded up now. He's, the way he runs through that little <laughs> piece of yard he has, he freaking takes those corners and it's like a mud pit back there and like on the, around the corners. Gotta put some more sod in. Spike got filthy this morning. Nice walk-in shower. I like that. It's got the two uh, the two spouts, one for each. Look at that, huh? That's cool, right? I'm, I'm sorry, but it's like on the side here. It's interesting. Nice. I feel like sometimes you get those showers and you don't have the option to you know, shut the top one off and just you turn it on, they both come shooting out. Big loft, guys. Look at that old school record player they got there. Wanna come up here and play some records, guys? That's where it's at. So yeah, from here we can get a good view. So you can understand the way the roofing is done. It's got those flanges for those uh, for the vents, which is you know keeps the water away. You know those premium lots, guys. They're selling and they'll sell fast and they'll sell first. They've only sold two in here so far. Um, it literally just opened like a few days ago. Um, so right there, it's where they're starting to build some of the quicker moving ones. Those are gonna be your 40s. And on the other side, those will be 50s. So you can customize those ones. 
Then there'll be those ones like on the pond, lots on the pond there that you can get. Um, and then as you saw on the map, so this is nice guys, huh? Got a nice, uh, this is your AC closet here. So you got your two blowers. So you got, you know, two, should be a upstairs and a downstairs temperature control. It's quite an impressive system. It's got the fresh air intake. So you, you will see a vent. Um, like when you walk in the front door, if you look up like on the ceiling there, it looks good. It looks like all sealed and everything guys. Uh, definitely looks like a good, well built unit. That's nice, right? And then got a bedroom here. Remember you had two bedrooms downstairs with the bonus room and then two bedrooms, one bath upstairs with the loft. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go head out and uh, we're gonna do some drone work. So I'm gonna go drone Camp Creek. I'm gonna drone the Publix Plaza for you again um, and the middle school. And then I'll run the drone through Long Meadow um, so you can see that. And then um, make sure you check out my West Bay tour, guys. I've already dropped that. Uh, that's got quite a, quite a lot of views. I'm waiting to hopefully get some contracts from that video soon. Uh, but if you wanna step it up, and uh, go a little further with your budget and options and custom customizability and get those three car garage options in here, guys, then West Bay is what you wanna do, right? So um, hope you enjoyed this tour, guys. You know, I like to keep you guys fully updated. Um, I'm gonna have that Pulte Syntex uh, Dell Web video coming to you soon. And then I've got a new uh, KB community. So that's uh, on 675 i think it's like called creekwood or something like that um creekside I'm, I'm not sure but i'm gonna cover that i believe i can cover that next week i'll be able to get into those models and they'll be kind of all situated and they'll have all the rundown all people working over there so um i think they're doing their grand opening maybe next week or the week after so but i'll get in there i'll do the video next week guys and i'll get this uh pull day syntax dell web video uh with as many you know updates just showing you like which communities each builder is building in when you're looking in this area so you don't have to go trying to put the pieces to the puzzle together yourself you just come to this channel and you'll be able to just go right through my videos and basically have a full overview of what's going on guys so uh, hope that serves you well guys and uh have a great day call me at 941 879-4730 and don't forget about my two thousand dollar rebate guys when you have me represent you the builder pays my commission uh they don't pay they don't reduce the prices or give you any more for ha not having a realtor guys because they do not reduce prices because they, if they reduce prices on one sale um they've realized that it hurts their appraisals in this market because this market's a little turbulent kind of going up and you know, depending on what interest rates are doing, guys, or, but there's that upward pressure just from parish, from the demand in parish and the supply. The, the builders kind of like run the market here because they control the interest rates. So if the interest rates are five and a half percent on the streets or for resales, you know, or six percent, right? They're buying the rate down to four and a quarter. So they run the market and they, that kind of controls the pricing and controls a lot of things guys and they're giving those closing cost incentives they're paying your closing costs buying down your rate you know uh, if you get those quick move-ins guys then you can't really beat it guys like i said only 80 dollars a year for the hoa i've been in here four years my hoa has never gone up so i have two houses in here and it hasn't gone up my cdds have not gone up if they have it not enough for me to even notice it um so yeah guys hope to hear from you soon if you're flying down, let me know. If you want me to do some virtual walkthroughs with you, just let me know. I can do that too. I can do FaceTimes. I can do whatever you want to do. If you want to secure a lot, guys, and you can't get down here, I can do everything uh, virtually for you guys. So have a great day.
Be true.